everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Michelle Anna if you are new to my channel welcome and if you have been subscribed already for a while I just want to welcome you back to today's video I hope you guys have noticed I am trying to be more consistent with the uh, video scheduling and with the posting scheduling actually I'm really just trying to make sure that I creates quality content for you guys um you guys know that at the core of it jesus will always be a part of my channel and my faith but i am a regular normal woman so i'm gonna be talking about hair and makeup and all of the great things that entails just um who i am and things that i like so i just want to thank you guys for liking for subscribing for commenting on my previous videos and if you've missed any of the videos from this week i highly suggest that you go like give it a look today is friday and you've got the weekend you might as well just catch up on some of the videos that are live right now on my channel before we get into today's video i also want to let you guys know that there's a lot of information below in the description box one of the things that's on there is my blog there are a lot of things going on my blog literally in the next couple of weeks not just on my youtube channel not just on my instagram but on my blog as well typically my blog those who are subscribed to my email list are the first ones to know some of the things that i'm working on so definitely go ahead into the description box below and subscribe to the blog i just know you guys are going to enjoy it also in the description box below i've got a virtual conference an online conference coming up in december where i will be talking about confidence after tragedy it's something so near and dear to my heart because i've lived it out so i know firsthand what it's like to really just hang on to god after tragedy and i think that in this holiday season and heading into the new year a lot of people are making goals and really trying to transition into a better mind space and head space and so i just really want to encourage you guys to check that link out as well and also one last little announcement before we get right into the video is that i will actually be speaking on a, a lifestyle panel this coming monday in columbia south carolina so if you're catching this and you are you are available and you are in the area make sure that you check that link out I also have a little coupon code to get you guys a little bit of a discount on the ticket it is a co-working pop-up event for side hustlers um, girl bosses entrepreneurs whoever is interested in that type of event so make sure that you give that a look as well and I'm just so excited to be speaking at that event it's just like yes a lot of y'all are like out here doing your side hustles and just making it happen and that makes me so happy so i would love to meet you in person in columbia so if you're in the area make sure you make your way there all right wow i felt like i had to get that out of the way before i continue because it's just important to kind of keep you guys updated on what's happening in my life now in today's video i'm going to be talking about the moments and the process it took for me to really decide to take off my wedding rings and i realized that this is actually a very commonly asked question and i feel like i wanted to wait to do this video because i wanted to make sure that i was fully there and fully able to speak to you guys from a place where i'm confident that that is how i feel about it that i didn't feel bad about it yeah that it, it was something that i was truly living out so if you're interested in this topic just continue watching all right so if you are new to my channel i um my husband passed away last year january 2017 january 8th to be exact and i can't believe it's almost gonna be two years in january literally in about a month and some change and honestly that's a whole nother thing like for a whole nother video but I um I went through such a process in the beginning of the year and one of the many layers of all of that was having to do with um me wearing my wedding rings and my wedding band and all that all that good stuff and um so I'll start from the very beginning of this whole process I remember like a few times like a it was actually a lot of times where I'd be out and about and I've had my my wedding rings my wedding rings were 
freaking beautiful. Like they were everything I didn't I didn't even know what I wanted at 19 years old. I didn't even know like I, I didn't even know he had that much money to get a ring like that. I loved my wedding rings and I think that after, you know, then becoming a widow, it wasn't until maybe like six months, six or seven months later where the thought came to my mind like, oh my gosh, not that I know that I had to take off these rings, but when I do decide to take off these rings, um, it's very symbolic. You know, the Bible and our covenant and our vows, we said till death do us part. And I have spoken on my channel about how my identity doesn't lie in my marital status. It doesn't um, come from now I am single again. It doesn't come from any of that. That's like earthly things. When we get into eternity, that's not even a thing. But once he passed away, it's like now that's that part where it comes in where death do you part when he passed away that was almost as if that was the death of the marriage and um it's 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 a very difficult thing and if you're a new widow and or if you're experiencing the death of a marriage you know i think that you will understand that because it's something that you know for someone like myself where becoming a widow wasn't even in my <laughs> in my and I don't even like saying becoming a widow that sounds like really weird to me but um transitioning into widowhood like I just that wasn't in the, in the cards or in my mind never we were not ready for that we didn't have anything set up for that is what i'm saying as i'm finding myself at that time about 7 8 months into it i would take my rings off and i'd feel really really bad and then i'd put my rings back on i'd take them off and i'd put them back on and i just remember just really battling in myself and i just wasn't ready and then i was ready and then i wasn't ready and then i was ready it was just such a battle because i felt like i wasn't honoring him i felt like i was living this like oh my gosh like it felt my hands felt so empty um i've worn my rings for my engagement ring at that point i wore it for seven years engagement ring and my wedding bands like my whole set for five plus years and that was very different for me i honored that it was something very important to me it was a very sentimental piece of jewelry for me um not in value as far as monetarily but in in essence of the vows the covenant that we had made together and so what brought me to that decision to finally feel ready to take it off was that i was like you know what i'm not married anymore and i think that everyone that happens at different times so if you ask me what's the right time for me to move forward with life and take off my wedding rings after my husband has passed away or after a divorce or after whatever and obviously all these situations are different i'm not categorizing them in one thing i can't tell you a certain amount of time i can only tell you my experience and i can only express to you that you need to take your time you have to take your time and you have to do it on your time frame no one can tell you how how long it takes for you to actually make that move because that's monumental that is monumental for you to take off your wedding rings it's to almost say like i accept this reality and i'm kind of sort of now allowing god not that you didn't before but in this scenario i'm placing myself in this pool of like now i'm single for real like i'm for real single and i'll tell you what one of the things that you know started to really like stir inside of me the decision to take it off and it wasn't because of this but it started to was because a lot of people and i think i started to say this before had um noticed my ring that didn't know who i was and were like oh my god you're so young you're married like how long have you been married and like your rings are so beautiful like that happened a few times and i just remember thinking like Oh my gosh, how do I how do I pivot this conversation? And then how do I go from here where it's like, well, I mean, uh mm, 
well, um, well, he passed away. And then you get that whole like, and that started to really get to me because I never want people to like feel bad for me. And, 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 and at that point I started to really heal in places and in parts of my heart that I didn't even know were like capable of feeling and being healed in. And it was just like every time that that would happen, it would take me back into a place where it would be like, oh my gosh, like, this is real. Like, this really happened. And I just remember coming to a place where it's like, I can't allow myself to continue this roller coaster of emotions. I have to, I have to accept this and move forward from it. Once I decided to make that decision, it was just like another level of grieving. It was another layer of grieving. It was like a new process that I just, in my mind, I thought I was ready for, but in my heart, it was just like another layer. And then at that point, it was like September-ish. So it was around September, October, where I finally was like, okay, like, this is it. Like, this is really real. Like, I'm really gonna do this. And um, I just remember feeling like, okay, I got that, like, peace. And that's the part where um, that's that was the defining factor in my decision, ultimately, above all. I had peace about it. It was almost as if I was fighting it, but I had so much peace about my decision and knowing that I was making it from a place of uh, confirmation, a place of peace and a place of, okay, I made this decision. I made this decision and it wasn't because anybody was rushing me or it wasn't because I felt bad that someone thought I needed to wear it longer. It was it was my decision and I felt peace about it because I was praying about it. I was mindful of my feelings, mindful of my emotions because I also recognized that like some things God allows for us to heal quickly because he needs to send us out. And that's where I also want to encourage you. If you're going through something where it's like you don't know how to forgive, you don't know how to move on from, the, I'm not saying the faster, but the faster you allow yourself to align with what God's word says, the faster you're able to move on and God is able to send you to where he needs to send you. And sometimes it's not easy to hear that because we're like, no, I just, I'm so comfortable in my pain. I'm so comfortable in my grief. I'm so comfortable where I am. And that's where God gives you grace. That's where God comes in and says, look, I can't move until you move. I can't do anything until you partner with me to make this happen because he's going to meet you where you are. So although I am speaking of my process in regards to taking off my rings, I also think that this applies to a lot of areas of our of our lives and our hearts. So essentially in a nutshell, it took about my ninth, 10th month of just widowhood to finally decide that I was ready to take off my rings, that it was time for me, I had peace about it. So at the core of it all, just make sure that you have peace about it. Don't feel bad that some people are uh, telling you to take your time, but you feel ready quicker than expected or don't feel bad that you feel like it's taking you longer than expected we have to recognize to give grace for ourselves and extend grace to others i know we're not god i know that we're not perfect but we have to be easy on people like we have to extend grace so i hope that pretty much covers the areas of the process of taking off my rings and really just coming to terms with it, being at peace with it. And uh, one thing that I want to also uh, say and mention was that my family, you know, they did not make a big deal about it. Like it was just, it happened. And then maybe months later, I, I was ready to speak with them, uh, to them about it. So if you're someone who, uh, if you're a family member of someone who lost a spouse, 
let them be ready to talk to you about the things that are the obvious like hey so when are you taking off your rings just come to you let them come to you to talk about different things don't impose that they're ready for dating don't impose that they're ready for that they're ready for a new relationship let them come to you because they will be ready at some point to have these conversations i think above all my relationship with god and I, just our communication really helped in what i knew was next and deciding what was next so my hopes with this video is not that you know you feel sorry or bad or whatever for me but that you feel encouraged and equipped to make certain decisions that you have to make we're approaching like um kind of sort of the end of, of November as we approach Thanksgiving and things like that. And I don't want to cause any anxiety or pressure or anything like that. But just really examine your life. Like, examine where you are. Examine, you know, are, am, am, I, am I pursuing my dreams? Am I pursuing purpose? Am I, am I crossing off goals off of my list? Do I have goals? Do I have a vision? And stop letting fear trap you into this idea of you can't move forward in life you guys peace is real and the peace that surpasses all understanding is real and for me and my faith and in who i believe jesus gives that to me and there's no other way that i have been able to survive this whole process had it not been for that part and also the practical things that I did along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you subscribe if you want to be a part of the family, that you like this video and that you come say hi on my other platforms on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, and especially on my blog, y'all. I'm putting some hard work on that blog. So thank you so much for watching this whole video through and uh, make sure you guys check out my other videos. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.